What's that? Wish there was a video out there showcasing the beauty of Japanese and Palestinian culture together. This is Curly no Kyojin. I'm Shireen and I've come to answer your prayers. A couple of months ago, someone linked me to Palestinian embroidery Obi's Instagram account. I was so excited. Maki Yamamoto merges Palestinian embroidery, which is tatriz in Arabic, and the Japanese kimono, both staples of their respective cultures. Tatriz is a unique style of cross stitch that uses lush colors and patterns to embody the beauty and resilience of Palestinians and Palestine. It's an aspect of Palestinian culture that has been passed down from generation to generation. It's a great source of pride for those who make it and wear it. And then you have the kimono. The kimono is a traditional Japanese garment that is now typically reserved for special occasions. There are different layers to the kimono but the one that Maki focuses on is the obi. The obi is a belt that wraps around the kimono and ties at the back in a knot or in a bow. It really brings the kimono together with its bright and beautiful colors and designs. Maki first saw Tatriz and the traditional Palestinian thobe on a Palestinian friend of hers and after she visited the West Bank and saw Tatriz being sold at different shops, she knew right away that it was something that she wanted to introduce in Japan. Maki works with different NGOs who connect her to embroiderers in refugee camps in Ramallah, Gaza and Naples. The Palestinian refugee women who work on Tatriz are paid for their work and before COVID, Maki could visit those in West Bank and discuss details like design and sizing. The obis you see here are unfinished. Once you choose the design you like, you choose the color of the lining and then your Palestinian embroidery obi gets sent to a Japanese kimono tailor who finishes the job. Embroidery motifs depend on the region of Palestine that they're from. For example, in this motif originally from Jaffa, you can see a kohl holder. This obi embroidered in Gaza highlights the cypress tree. We can also see the cypress tree in this motif from Jaffa. And on this motif from Hebron, we see embroidered pasha's tents and snowflakes. In this madani satin stitch, we see the almond blossom and some mountains. And then you have this beautiful finished obi embroidered by six women from a refugee camp in Gaza. I honestly never expected to see Palestinian embroidery in Japan, much less combined with Japanese culture. The obis were so beautiful and there was also a variety of other Palestinian made products. If you want to see this beautiful fusion of Palestinian and Japanese culture, then please follow them on Instagram. Thanks for watching!